Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Car Stereo Lab, the show where we take cool products, talk about them, and then put them in the lab, Fernando's car, and show you how they perform. Today, we have a great one for you. Let's just get started. Most of us got into car auto because we love bass. Subwoofers, boom, yeah, just pounding in the back of the car brings us great joy. Would you not agree, Fernando? That is right. The problem is, is not everyone is the best when it comes to making enclosures. There's a lot of companies out there that make really great enclosures now that you can just buy one from. But wouldn't it make sense to, if you're a speaker manufacturer, just put your woofer in a box already, Fernando? Yes. More and more manufacturers have seen the light and have started to do this. And today we're gonna look two of them from ground zero. The first one we're gonna take a look at is the GZRB20 SPL. This is an eight inch preloaded subwoofer enclosure. Inside the box is the owner's manual, which we'll talk more about these specs in a second and the subwoofer enclosure itself. It comes with black carpet and a stitched yellow ground zero on the top. The GZRW8X SPL woofer inside of it with these three bars to keep it from, you know, getting damaged. On the end, we have this flanged arrow style port. And on the other end, we have connection points for both voice coils. This particular enclosure uses a dual two ohm driver. If we push in the two speaker terminals here, we can and pull out their nice bus bars that they make. How the speaker terminals are set up, you have voice coil one positive, voice coil two positive, voice coil one negative, voice coil two negative. With these bus bars both in, and you connect to the two outside leads here, or here, doesn't matter, you will get a one ohm load at your amplifier. If you take and put the jumpers here in the center and connect to your outside, then you will have a four ohm load at your amplifier. With the amplifier we're gonna be powering this with, we need a four ohm load. Physical size of this particular particular enclosure is 17.32 inches long by 9.45 inches high and then the depth is 11.02 inches deep. Total airspace is 0 0.074 cubic feet with a total power handling of a thousand watts. But before we talk about power handling, let's take this woofer out and take a look at the actual woofer. To do that, pull up on these bars and remove these screws. This uses a threaded screw and it does have a Loctite agent on it. Now taking a closer look at the driver, they have soldered the terminals on. Because it's in an enclosure, they also don't ship it with the little rubber housing that typically would come on the back of it. But let's learn more about the driver itself that they've used. It's an eight inch high quality SPL subwoofer, Kipple optimized, reinforced paper cone, long stroke compound cone. The surround is stitched to the cone. The basket is a custom ground zero steel basket. Of course, you can see here it has a double stack magnet. The dust cap is an IMPP with 3D structured logoing. This is an actual like 3D sticks out, looks extremely cool. The voice coil, the voice coil is two inches. For the rest of the teal small parameters, they're listed right here. All this information is downloadable from groundzerousa.com. Looking closer inside the box, we can see there's a flanged end on the back side of the port. It is also epoxied into place. All the corners are sealed up. Looking at the back of the speaker terminals, just like the woofer, they're also soldered in place. All the sides of the box do have this nice round edge on them to give it a nice feel. Let's get this in the car and we'll take a listen to it. We're gonna be powering this with the Sound Digital Micro Amplifier, the 800.1, the four ohm version of it. Just give me an idea, look how tiny that is. That is so small. First track up, we're gonna play a sweep just to see what this thing does. It's definitely moving some air. Let's play some music, see what that does. It's got 
plenty of range, and this has been royalty-free music that we can kind of play out. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to play some non-royalty-free music, so you're going to get little clips of it because we really want to see what it'll do on some of the, the like, yeah, crazy, you know, like Millie. Yeah. We'll see what kind of, kind of... If you'd have told me that that's an eight inch in the trunk, I'd have probably told you you were lying to mm -hmm. me. Cause this thing, it, oh my gosh, dude, seriously? That little box, that little the trunk of a car. And we got it something even smaller to play next. If one small woofer wasn't enough, and by small I mean an eight inch is pretty small, but that's not the trend right now. The trend is to go even smaller. So along with making amplifiers tiny, they're getting some amazing sound out of even smaller drivers than an eight. Which brings us to the next loaded enclosure. The GZRB16 SPL. That's right, a six inch preloaded subwoofer enclosure. Really? I know, right? Let's take a look at it. Just like the previous box, it has the dual voice coil speaker cup here on the end. Starting with voice coil one positive, voice coil two positive, voice coil one negative, voice coil two negative, and we've set it up for four ohm. Also on the end next to the speaker cup is the port. You have the ground zero stitching on the top. The physical size of this thing, other than obviously being tiny, is 16.14 inches across by 11.2 inches tall by 5.12 inches deep. This, 5.12 inches. This thing will fit almost anywhere. It's super small. The overall net airspace is 0 0.03 cubic feet. It has a power handling of 700 watts. Let's get this woofer out, just like the last one, and take a look at this little monster. To do that, pull up on the bars and remove the four machine screws. There are nut certs behind there for these to screw into. You're not screwing into the wood. With these four screws out, lift up on the trim, you'll find four more screws behind it. Panel tool, get up underneath there. It is a super tight fit. These don't slide around at all. There's no left and right movement. And you have to pull this woofer straight up out because look at the size of the magnet on this thing. It's almost the same width as the cutout for the six and a half. Single stack, just like on the eight inch, they are soldered on and the little rubber magnet cover is not there. It's a six and a half inch high quality SPL subwoofer, Kipple optimized, reinforced paper cone, long stroke compound surround, stitched. This is a single stitch, the eight inch was a double stitch. Still uses that same two inch voice coil. And the dust cap, just like on the previous, is the IMPP with the 3D texture on it. For all your other TL small parameters, they're all listed here and you can find them at groundzerousa.com. Taking a closer look inside the box, we can see they put some sheet poly in it. The port runs all along the side here and actually ends right here. It's a very long L port. There is a corner brace. Well, as you can see the bracing there. Feeling the inside of the port here, it is round over on both sides. You can kind of see there. The terminal cup is soldered into place. And with that, I do want to hook it up and hear how this guy sounds. Is the eight inch, out with the eight. In with the six. What a little monster. Oh my gosh, you're a good boy. Yes, you are. It's like, there's nothing there. I'm anxious to hear this. This one actually can go. Oh yeah. Right look. there. You know, you still got space. But I wanna put it right here. Now a little bit of disclosure here. The six inch woofer, that's been in Fernando's car for about two weeks. The eight inch we just unboxed. He's been driving around with that one. This one is super broken and super ready to go. Before we even play it, you have some thoughts on it? Oh my God, that's like... They're not getting this one back. No, no, no. that's like, that's it. It's just like bolted in the car, that's it. Cannot take it out. You may have caught an Instagram show we did where we were talking about something and we're like, oh my gosh, it was this. Yep. This, this thing is crazy. The eight is nice, no question about it. No. It is louder. <laughs> However, the six, woo, well, let's listen to it. Now, just like before, we're gonna play some YouTube safe tracks. I 
like to think of this as like the ultimate grocery gear base. Yeah. You still have room for groceries. Yes. And you got good base. And I got plenty of base. I got plenty of base. base. Yes. Team that up with like some nice mids and highs like we have in here. That 801, it's so tiny, and it, the highs are getting powered off of the Sound Digital 404. Mm -hmm. They're microscopic, as you saw. This is just, it's crazy. I mean, obviously, if you want a little bit more bass, step yeah, up to the eight. totally. But don't be afraid of the six and a half. Oh my gosh. Press right. play again. small woofers if you've been watching the channel for a while you know that eh, eh, whatever for me for him loves them mm -hmm. this six not to take anything away from the eight because like we know most people are gonna buy the eight inch because you right. why not you want just a little bit more bass but dude this six will blow your mind mm -hmm. could you imagine like you, you put them in the corner there yeah could you imagine doing two like one, one in each corner side. dude that would be insane. and you still got play room like oh yeah i mean you could park a car in the middle of that yeah pretty much maybe we should get a second one <laughs> Tommy! <laughs> Listen guys, if you're interested in small base, whether you're gonna build a custom enclosure or if you just want to buy one that is already factory built and ready to go, yeah. definitely check out these Ground Zero subwoofers. You will not be disappointed. No, not at all. I, I, the first time I took it out of the bus, plug it in, play the music, I was like, oh my God, the ton of bass that come out of this box is insane. Yeah, you won't be sad. Mm -hmm. You won't be sad at all. You are going to be sad because the show is over. That's the end. Head over to GroundZeroUSA.com. We'd like to thank Ground Zero for supplying us with these woofers to try out. You're not getting them back. Thank you so much as always for watching. Fernando, on to the next one, guys. You guys have a great night as always. We'll see you later next time. Bye. Bye. Press play. Yeah. I know. So you're going to let me borrow when I put an amp in? Nope.